INRIA is a research institute in France, a national research lab focusing on computer science and applied mathematics. Since January 2024, we are in charge of coordinating and strengthening all the academic ecosystem concerned by computer science. We also are coordinating a program that is called the French Hybrid Quantum Initiative, which focuses on the development of the entire software stack for having quantum computers working closely with classical high-performance computing. We are in an era today that, uh, where we need to go to large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computers. For building these hardware, we need both good qubits and a lot of qubits. Some of the main error correction codes have been invented by teams uh, that are in INRIA. So the idea is to, you know, to encode the information redundantly in the computer so that you can perform you know, computation uh, uh, even with noisy hardware. So if you want to factorize very large numbers, you will need something like hundreds of millions of qubits if you want to you know, really uh, factorize numbers of interest. And these hundreds of millions, the, the real goal is to kind of bring this number down uh, by a couple of orders of magnitude. And the hope of my area and what I'm doing in my research is really to do that by finding better ways to you know, encode information. One of the main work that we had done in our group is based on development of new bosonic codes, such as uh, cat qubits, which is a quite efficient way of encoding information with a with an uh, intrinsic protection against some type of noise. This has attracted a lot of attention. Now there are companies working on developing these uh, ideas. In particular in France, there is a startup named Alice and Bob who is developing this uh, based on these ideas. And at an international level, uh, the AWS is also working on this same type of ideas. I'm combining features from classical and uh, quantum algorithms and we try to get the best advantage of each of the, of the different type of processors. We have worked on solvers for uh, linear system of equations, in particular uh, coming from the partial differential equations. We have also worked on optimizing quantum circuits for uh, the compilation phase in the quantum algorithms. So my research is mostly focused around uh, quantum cryptography and security proofs for quantum cryptographic protocols. So the technical problems that I'm trying to solve mostly revolve around uh, optimization and entropies. So we can take the example of quantum random number generation. So there we want to prepare and measure quantum systems in order to generate secure random numbers. The dimension of the quantum systems involved in that, in that setting is going to grow exponentially with the size of your, of your data. So you're going to have this giant optimization problem of an entropy that you need to solve in order to assess the security of your device. At Curiosity, one of my co-authors had a, a very nice idea, and it was to, instead of trying to decompose the entropy to simplify the optimization problem, why don't we try and just decompose the entire optimization problem itself? So one of the progresses that this has allowed us to do is to actually build a flexible security framework for uh, quantum cryptographic protocols. So now we have the technical ingredients, we can package them into a framework for security proofs. So our goal is really to create bridges between uh, physics and computer science. So for instance, we are experts on this uh, old concept of a spooky action at a distance that you have in quantum theory that we call uh, entanglement and we try to use it to obtain advantages, so to speed up computations in quantum networks. On the other way around, we also use the theory of machine learning, which was developed by computer scientists, to explore uh, the properties of quantum materials. So it's a big challenge because these two communities are quite distinct. So in order to obtain such synergies, we create environments to be able to exchange between uh, each other, so for instance, we organize workshops. We'll soon organize a workshop in Badonev in Germany with mathematicians. And then we'll also organize another one in Helsinki with uh, the Bell Labs and uh, computer scientists working in distributed computing. So if you look to the last five years, the French quantum strategy have allowed the development of strong worldwide competitors on the hardware side. Now it is the right time 
to build software companies. So we are in discussion with the dedicated venture studio or uh, quantum technologies and how we can use our internal program, which is called Inira Startup Studio, to build the next generation of quantum-centric software startups. The goal is to have up to 20 startups before the end of the decade. The CAP Computing Startup is hosted at Inuria Startup Studio. It aims at developing high-performance C++ library that can be easily integrated in any HPC workflow. We are also working on a platform which is very uh, user-friendly and uh, enables users to, to get familiar with quantum computing. What we expect from next generation of quantum computers is strong acceleration on the simulation side for different topics, typically chemistry or machine learning. We will see some weak signals that AI, that classical AI, cannot see. And we expect also from quantum computers to answer some of the energy-related questions for machine learning. If we can do the same calculations as AI, but with consuming less energy, that's really transforming.